You will not accept this. It was your doing, yours. And now you would refuse to accept the consequences? Accept it? How could you expect me to accept it? Lon takes the fall? While I cower in my fake world? I mean, this is my fault as much as it is his. He shouldn't have to pay my share. Who do I tell I'm sorry? Our mom and dad? Then I will ask you again. Will you? Or will you not accept the consequences? I will not! Not these! Very well. I shall yield to you all nine of my precious lives. And give you a chance to continue your tale differently. And weave the threads of time anew. Tick-tock. Tick-tock. Life sacrifice acknowledged. Now time shall be threaded anew. Bong. Bong. Postscript. Turn those corners up. Huh? All right. Let's kick some Baja butt and give this world a saving it won't forget. After all, if we really did cause all of this mess, it's about time that we settled up. Wait! What? What's gotten into you? Just wait. Where's... Tama? Tama? What's that? Our... friend. Very well. I shall yield to you all nine of my precious lives. And give you a chance to continue your tale differently. And weave the threads of time anew. No way! Was that her back there? That was Tama? Uh, hey, Lon! You really don't know who I mean? Tama's our friend! This whole journey, she's been by our side! What? I have no idea what you're saying. What is wrong with you? You're acting so weird. Well, I've never seen her behave like this. Usually Lon's the one who acts like he got punched in the back of the head. Uh, Seraphy? But you... you can't be here! Huh? What? Why would you freak out about Seraphie? Come on, she's the one who's been by our side. Seriously, do you want to rest a sec? Seraphie! You know her! You love Tama! Someone named Tama? Wait, I think I've got it. Could it be short for... Tama Mohime? I have no idea where you might have heard the name. It sure does take me back to the old days. All right. I don't know what you're up to, but I'm going up there to kick some Baja butt. No! Huh? <laughs> Careful. Tama gave her lives for this chance. It's a new timeline. I can't waste it. We're not ready to do this. But why not? Lon, think about it. Why did we come here in the first place? You remember? What did we say we were gonna do? What is this, a pop quiz? Answer the question! Well, if you mean the first reason... Um... And a crow told us that if we got back all of the mirages we lost, then we might regain our memories and maybe meet our family. Right? That's right. Taking down the Federation? That wasn't in the plan. Well, of course it wasn't. We didn't even know they existed yet. And anyway, you and me are the ones who brought those Cogna things into Grimoire. It's our mess to clean up. Even if it means fighting Mom and Dad? And having to sacrifice your life in the end? Dude, what? You really have lost it. Lon! Defeating those guys? 
It won't save the world. No good will come of it. What happens to us? To you? Would you stop getting so worked up? You're not making any sense. The Cogna. We'll stop them. Huh? Well, yeah, we can do that too, but since we're here, let's fight these guys. I told you that won't work. It's pointless. First, we need to close the portal. Which means collecting more mirages, more getting stronger, and more owning up to what we've done. Hello? Rain? Mom. Dad. <laughs> we have to straighten things out with Wen too. And then... Okay, I think it's time that we'll we... Get the mirages, get stronger, and close that portal! You can kick their butts after we do all that. Well, hold your chocobos. Don't forget, people are losing their souls. Yes, so let's hurry. Mirage collecting and the portal. Oh, and we have to call Wind back from the castle. Hey, Seraphie, do you know anything about that mirage that Wind summons? Huh? Oh, yeah, I guess. That'd be none other than Siren. She comes from the same world of Wind Pixies that I do. You and her are both from the same world? Well, then can you contact her and see if she's with Wynn? As long as she's somewhere in Grimoire, then I'd say it's doable. Great. Would you? Okity dokity. Be back in a micro mega flash. Oh, wait! Also, tell her we're sorry for what we did, trapping her for so long, will you? I know that. Sorry's not enough, but... Yeah, yeah. You're the boss, boss. Rain, what's up? You know something. I'll try to explain. But on the way, we're going to Balam Garden. Tell me one thing. This time, do you remember? What you two were like? And the terrible things you did? Yes. A lot of it, anyway. But we're ready. We're going to collect our mirages... ...and face all of our mistakes head-on! <sighs> Alright then. So why did you call me back? If we have the final showdown now, our fam... ...you and us won't make it. It's not gonna be the outcome that we're hoping for. You don't know that. It hasn't even- I do know! Look. I was there. Please. Don't fight the Heralds yet. Help us save Grimoire first. We could really, really use your help. Do you have a plan? We're going to use the portal. The Ultima Gate? What do you want with that? If you're thinking about opening it again- No, it would never work without you, Wynn. Well, actually, we need all of the summoners for it to work. Lan is right. Summoners have the power to bring mirages from other worlds into this one. Basically, they create a bridge between two worlds. But so can you. In fact, the power is stronger in Mirage Keepers. Don't look at me. I'm just regurgitating all the stuff that Rain told me she remembers now. A Mirage Keeper's powers, they're not like those of a summoner's. We trap mirages using miniature worlds that are created by real architects, like our father. And once they're confined, we can release them. And at that point, they're ours to command at will. But to pull that off, you need to bend the rules. And only breakers like our mother can do that. Is that true? So then, your parents' talents, they became yours. To wield any mirage? Yes. And there's more to it. Breakers can extract power from any of their mirages, and then add it to their own. So the more we find, the stronger me and Rain can make ourselves. We didn't give it much thought when we were collecting them back then, but... In fact, we stole our mom's power along with her mirages. <sighs> Wait. If you can't... If Keepers can't actually connect two worlds... Yeah... When I summoned Brandalis, I, uh... 
I sorta had to borrow your powers when... I used the crystal cage. That explains it. I could feel it too. It's like the cage. It was drawing the strength right out of me. And while I was trapped in there, the heralds could draw on my power. And even pose as me. Wait a minute. Then... did they...? Yes. They slowly deceived the world with the Crimson Prophecy, so that Lon would restore the gate. And by gathering up the other summoners... Again, they managed to create a bridge. Right. That explains a lot of things. Okay. So going back... The Ultima Gate, why do you need it? It's too late to destroy it. We know. Even if we do, or take out Brandalus, then we're still stuck with a world full of Cogno we can't get rid of. So, we'll reverse it. What? Right. We hope, if we reverse the flow... It'll send the Cogna and Heralds back where they came from. So please, if you and the Summoners help us, we can do this, Alwyn. I... Uh, I know that after all we've done, we don't have any right to ask this. But... I'll do it. Huh? Honestly, I'm not so sure about your plan. It might work like you say. And then again, it might not. But I feel like it's something worth trying. Still. Yes. They'll come after us if they catch on. It's more than that. The Heralds are using... Your parents... You know that. But you can trust me. Trust us to take care of it. <sighs> okay. When you feel you're ready, say the word. <laughs> Thank you so much, Wyn. I'm... I'm sorry. Oh, forget it. You can call me Wyn. <laughs> it feels too strange, Awen, coming from you two. Uh... <laughs> <sighs> hey, maybe there's a chance. This arm's gonna bring the world some joy. I know it. Hey, Lon, do you remember the Pleiad? The Pleiad? What's a Pleiad? I'm still a little hazy on the details myself, but... Remember how it seemed like Ifrit and Shiva and Ramu seemed to recognize us? I remember them mentioning something like that. I think there were more mirages like that. Seven of them. Oh, I get it. Is that what Pleiad means then? Pleiad. But yes. So I think that might mean there are four other powerful mirages we knew besides Ifrit, Shiva, and Ramu. Huh, no kidding. Well, considering how tough that trio is, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get the rest of them on our side. Yep, my thoughts exactly. Hey, do you mind if I ask you something strange? Huh? Like what? Am I correct that you're in charge of controlling the gates and managing our prismariums now? What do you mean now? Please. You know full well that this pixie has always been in charge of both. I can't carry the prism case everywhere we go, but we can access it from safe locations. And you're the one who returns us to Ninewood Hills when we fall in battle? Huh? Well, yeah, sort of. I have to use the return crystal Anna Crow gave me, which unfortunately means we have to come back to Ninewood Hills every time. Hold on a second. This is strange. What's with the sudden barrage of questions? Oh, I guess I just like to go over things now and then. Huh? You serious? I guess that means most of what I know about Tama applies to Seraphie in this timeline. As long as I remember that, I should be able to play along. So it's been that long. None of us know exactly how long it's been. But it's estimated the giants who lived here must have disappeared about a hundred years ago. A century? Huh. It's a little hard to imagine. Well, why don't we head back to the airship and... What the... Was there something I could help you with, Bahamut? Oh... Or should I call you Tia Babalo? Huh? You 
dare speak my true name before a stranger? Have you lost your mind? Uh, what is going on? It's been a century, you said? Been quite a while. But I used to know old Bahamut here. You know the Dyad servant? A servant? Me? <laughs> oh, sorry. She means that you once served Lon and Rain. Ah, oh, yes. Who can forget those two? What? Lon and Rain are the Demon Dyad? The Heralds, probably Seguaritus, must have concocted the name to spice up their crimson prophecy. But there's a basis to it. The original Azure prophecy mentions demons too. <sighs> Did Lon and Rain know? Could they have read it? Rain always was an avid reader. Yes, she was. Except acting out prophecies sounds like Lon. You know, you're kind of taking all the wonder out of my childhood here. One thing I know. No one would have started calling them the Demon Dyad or whatever if you hadn't been there, acting like demons and wreaking havoc against their will. <laughs> you can blame the Heralds for that! I don't care how long I was sealed away. How dare Grandilus name his army Bahamut! And declare himself king of this world? I'll kill him! Tell me where he is right this instant! Is that the reason you're here? Listen, I've observed Brandalus up close for a century, and... Tia Babalo. Face it, you don't stand the slightest chance against him. What was that? The X-9 Knights. I trust you've heard of them. They're a fusion of three things. An Esper like me, a human, and lastly a god from the Extraverse. Correct. Gods from the Extraverse? Espers? What are those? Well, the Azure Prophecy makes mention of them both. Essentially, it says, From Oblivion, light and dark were born. Light begat beings called Espers. Dark begat monsters, and humans who sought the light. In the Extraverse, the world that surrounds ours, live gods that feed solely on death and destruction. Gods that are beings and non-beings and will not heed reason. One world found a tear in the fabric and exploited it to confine espers inside their human bodies. However, this tear left them open to the extraverse and its cruel gods. So then does that mean the heralds are those exact same gods? I can't say anything with real certainty yet. In the end, the prophecy is just words. So the best we can do is venture a guess at what it means. In fact, it's because this first section was so ambiguous, it was omitted from copies. Only direct descendants know it. Then... that would make you... Yes. That's right. The first summoner's descendant. Oh, and probably the last giant summoner, I would imagine. Although, it seems that some of you have picked up the art of summoning in our place. You'll keep it alive. ENOUGH! Get to the point! Are you saying that Brandalus has become an X-9 Knight? Yes, that's right. A being who, just like in the prophecy, has crossed dimensions. In a way, what else can you call him but a god? He's completely different from the Brandalus that you think you know. You can't beat him. You can't even touch him. This cannot be! What you say is impossible! It doesn't matter what Brandalus is like now! He's not me! I'm the true king! The Bahamut King! Tia! Tia Babalu the Great! <sighs> Great. I see your temper's as short as ever. What? Why are we fighting? What the? Uh, so the demon diehard thing, that was talking about us, huh? Yeah, I kind of figured as much by now, to be honest. Oh, Rain. Do I have to remember my past if it's this much of a train wreck? Well, hang on. From what Wynn was saying, 
Weren't most of our crimes against humanity caused by these troublemakers? Why don't you ask me? This is it! What are you two doing here? Would you quit it? You really need a lesson in anger management. I need what? Oh, also, you should forget about messing with the Heralds. It's true, you can't win. Oh, and I shall just have to slaughter you in order to prove just how Come wrong on. you are. Tech.
making me really mad!
I'm ending this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes, but we must be more powerful than before. This is like our second go at this, right? Hey, Tia Babalo. You know, we're planning to fight Brandalus. If you come with us, you can have a shot at him. Tea? <laughs> now that I've lost, I have no right to refuse. I'm yours! Did we actually defeat him? A dyad servant? Huh? Yay! Huh? Oh. How about that? Lon and Rain have just taken their servant back. What? Lon and Rain are here? How is that? I don't know. But that's a good question for when I see them. Mog. Oh, she's been sighted on the low seas, Koopo. Who has? The great sea demon, Leviathan, Koopo. Huh? <laughs> Let her come. I was hoping that beast would return within my lifetime. Sildra! Today we avenge them. Your family and my great-grandfather. Our long wait is finally over. Are you ready? Right! Head for the low seas! Tell me in two, Koopa! That's the first and last time I come here! Never ever again, Koopa! Stop hanging the jib! That was nothing. Lawn and rain. I don't know how you did it. Now, tell me where that demon was spotted. In the waters of Babel, not far from the Rainbow Shore, Koopo. Leviathan! Here I am! Show yourself! Come out and fight, if you have the courage! What's all this noise? Who might you be? Oh, so she killed your ancestors. Now, you seek revenge? Aye, she must pay for my great-grandfather and Sildra's kin. Hmm. As you wish, I'll call her for you. <coughs> raise such a clamor like that. My ears work fine. Little Adamantus. Can't you see? I'm trying to enjoy myself. I have missed these seas. Your reason for disturbing me had best be good. We're the ones who are disturbing you, Leviathan! Well now, what is this tiny creature? I'll show you, Tiny! You killed my great-grandfather Tycoon. He died. With all of Sildra's clan. But on this day, we will have our vengeance! And I'm here to help, Koopo! Tycoon and... Sildra, did you say? Oh! Astonishing! So their bloodline survived! Hm? But... Hold. You say you seek vengeance upon me? That's right! Don't you dare feign ignorance! My great-grandfather was brave. When you attacked Sildra's family, he fought to save them, and died. But we swore that one day, we would have our vengeance. For generations we've waited! It's my good fortune that you appeared in my lifetime. Because now, I can be the one to settle the score! Hmm. <laughs> Ha 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 ha! 
foolish girl. Am I to believe a whelp like you has any chance of defeating me? Not a chance. Not in a thousand years. <laughs> what now? Where am I? What is this? It's a fantasy. Where dreams and reality and time all touch. But don't ask me to explain what that means exactly. I guess you might say, when somebody fights our friends, we tag in. You get it? But how can... Oh... You two. How many long years have passed? Can't tell you that, but... Did we really used to know each other? Forget all that. Ferris thinks you killed her great-grandpa and Sildra's family. Is that really true? Well, honestly, I'm not altogether certain myself. As I recall, when Tycoon's crew was attacked by Bismarck's forces, on a whim, I may have helped them to defend themselves. Once I left, any number of villains could have done them in. But that's no concern of mine. Then you mean, Ferris and Sildra are mistaken? So why not just tell them as much? If their hatred for me has been festering all this time, then I cannot calm the waves by telling them it was all a big misunderstanding. As such, the wisest course of action is to accept their challenge, to let them break themselves against me. The way you're making it sound, you know they're fighting over nothing, but you still won't let them win? Really? Why would I let them win? I am not beholden to them. They chose this. Then I've got bad news. To fight them, you have to go through us. Well, that can be easily arranged. Lon, Rain, you need me? I will banish this darkness, once and for all!
Fighters. Feel the wrath of the sea. Tidal wave! Victory is yours. We did it, Koopa! Oi, Adamantus. Can I ask you something? Hmm? A century ago, they tell of a sea demon. But was it really Leviathan? Tell me, why do you ask? Oh. Well, I might be imagining it. But she didn't seem like such an evil character. <laughs> Don't be silly. She was, without a doubt, the worst of the Dyad's servants. But no more. You have succeeded at avenging your kin. Oh, good then. Captain! We did it, Koopa! Aye, and you were a big help. Right. Gents, let's go home. <laughs> to think you were once feared as one of the great terrors of the seas. When did you become such a big softy? Quiet, you. There will be trouble if they learn I still live. Now hush, until they're gone. <laughs> 